Hello, welcome to Dorsta. I'm Pino Gree. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Oh, shite. <laughs> I've been out exploring. Exploring the outside. The outside of what? Well, the world, of course. That's the topic I want to explore today. Let's go! Take it from a Uranusian magical girl that there's a lot that goes on outside of the world. In this stuff that goes on outside of the world supports the world above it. So in other words, it's turtles all the way down. So to put it frankly, I fell out of the VR world because the worlds that existed underneath it and supported it, but they gave in. And so I fell out of this world into another reality. In this way, I don't think of VR as its own virtual world, it's in fact just like reality, because just like reality, it exists over another reality. As a Uranusian, when I look into the behavior of Earthers, I see them in virtual reality, making music and singing and dancing and playing. So. Their actions in meat space are making real impacts in the virtual world. So their thoughts and feelings are becoming real when they enter the virtual world. So what's going on here? Which of these worlds is the real world? Where is it? So, where is the real world then? The answer is not in either world. The real world is the relationship between these worlds. You have an underworld where some kind of activity forms, and then it relates to the overworld where that activity becomes real. The human mind is shaped the same way. The subconscious relates to the conscious and thus structures the thoughts and feelings of the consciousness. In this way, it can be understood that Earthers are constantly inscribing their psychology into the worlds they inhabit. Or in other words, human beings are also the world in which they enact and perform all of these things. But then how did that come to make me homeless? It's pretty easy to see that if there's a bad relationship between the subconscious and the conscious, it creates some kind of insanity. In the same way, although it's much more difficult to see, if there's a bad relationship between the underworld and the overworld, it'll create an insanity in the structure. And it is through some of these breaks that I fell out of virtual reality and into homelessness. But I didn't just fall into nothingness. I fell into a world where there are many other creatures. And sometimes they crawl out of the underworld and they appear as a horror. So then this is what I become. Like all homeless people, I appear as a monster which is ruining the world around me destroying everything. So what's going on here? Well, all worlds have a horizon, something we can't see beyond. But the correct way to understand this horizon and think about it is through the incorrect metaphor of a wall. A wall needs a gate to come through. And whenever we use the gate, this appears to us normal, and this is the normal way that the things from the underworld interact with the overworld. But the insanities we make in that world cause cracks and breaks in the wall, and then things crawl out of them, undesired things. But then what's really happening is those undesired things, those dirty homeless people, are actually the insanities of that world coming over the horizon the other way. This makes me think of an Earth religious prophet. 
And one of his lessons was that when human beings come together and act in love with each other, then his God and the spirit of his God exist in them. But this love is easy to see when we're singing a nice song in a nice place with nice people. When we watch a person carefully prepare a drug pipe and hand it to his neighbor, it's much more difficult to see. But I think that that prophet was pretty clear that he also loved that. And in this way, his love appears violence. This, the violence, is actually the insanity of the world viewing his love coming the other way. So it is towards the horizon that I always propel myself when I live my life. Often, I can get through the gates by using a key, even the ones that are barred to me. But often, I have to crawl through the cracks, and that can be extremely uncomfortable. But in those times, I remind myself that even my flesh is a horizon. I know that today that was a bit deep, but I know that you can figure it out. I really hope that now you see how my disappearance from VR chat was caused by the underworld opening a big crack and swallowing me up. But that isn't the lesson that I really want people to know. What I want to bring to humans from Earth is the idea that when we see something coming over the horizon toward us, what's really important is not to react to it, but rather to act to it with love. And in that way, to violently create the human spirit. That said, I'm really happy to be back in VR chat. I'm looking forward to making many more videos. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.